This weekend, Norwood and the rest of the country will be celebrating Memorial Day, a day honoring and mourning the military personnel who have died in the performance of their military duties while serving in the United States Armed Forces. For 96-year-old World War II veteran Anthony Grasso, this will be a Memorial Day that he will never forget. Brian Boudreau has the story. Thursday morning, 96-year-old World War II veteran and Norwood resident Anthony Grasso prepared for a flight to South Carolina where he would pay respects to a man that saved his life nearly 70 years ago. Grasso, a private in World War II, was in the Battle of Hurkin Forest and that is where Lieutenant Frank DeBose lost his life saving Grasso. It wasn't until a recent book called All Souls Day when Grasso found the final resting place of his lost lieutenant. Thanks to the efforts of many, Grasso left with a full police escort to Logan Airport for his flight south. Well, today was an amazing uh, uh, day in, uh, in our town and in our state and in our country. Today we sent uh, to Logan Airport a World War II veteran. Anthony Grasso was a private in World War II when he was, came under an artillery attack in which his, com his commanding officer, his lieutenant, was killed, but Anthony survived. Um, and on his bucket list of things to do is to go and visit the grave of that lieutenant who saved his life one final time. And so District, uh, District Attorney Morrissey's office got a hold of the uh, story. They ran with it, they raised a GoFundMe page, raised thousands and thousands of dollars, bought airline tickets, round trip down to South Carolina where the gravesite is, and they just left in a motorcade escorted by dozens of police and motorcycles, and they'll probably be in Logan in about 15 minutes. Um, but uh, just an amazing thing. He's on his way to the airport now. He's on his way to South Carolina to go stand in front of his lieutenant's grave and give him one final salute. Lieutenant DeBose paid the ultimate sacrifice that so many great men and women have also made to make this country what it is. Those sacrifices have long-lasting effects that span many generations. The meaning of the sacrifice that soldiers, sailors, and Marines make, and in this case we know, I mean we know what it was. You know, DeBose gave his life and no doubt the DeBose family went through the, the same tremendous sorrow that so many families did back in World War II. What was the outcome? What was the gift? What was the, what was the result of the sacrifice that he made? Anthony Grasso, 96 years old, children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, lived his whole life in Norwood, lived a great life, a happy life, and has made a contribution to his family, to his town, uh, and to the country. And so in that respect, the DeVos family can be very proud of the sacrifice that Lieutenant DeVos made, and of course the Grasso family is grateful, and so are we here in Norwood. Grateful indeed. Safe travels to Private Grasso and his entire family. Normally this is where I would close it up, but I think I'll let Veterans Agent Ted Mulvihill have this one. For Norwood News, I'm Brian Boudreau. Teddy? Men in their 90s that served, and women as well. Uh, our national treasures. There's no other way to put it. Uh, they are the greatest generation and they are called that for a damn good reason because they saved our nation, they saved our way of life, our American way of life. We enjoy the freedoms we have today because of their service. They fought for their country, they fought for their families, and we are a better place because of it.